20 seconds to lift off. 18, 17, 16. Abort launch, 15, repeat. We must abort 14, the launch. Control. 13, you copy. Launch control. 12. Escalabra. 11. Abort the launch. 10. Beckett. 9. I've just had a run in with your Mr. Zito. He's your traitor. 7. <laughs> Hey, get back in here now. If you're in that hole when we launch, you'll be killed. Four, yeah, and if we launch with three, this fuel cell still in place, two, it'll heat up and we'll be blown to pieces. Lift off. We have lift off. Party I have to deploy the RX-44 so I can start locating Katuma's hidden wealth. What is it? It's impossible. It's a laser-based weapon system housed in a satellite. It seems to be taking aim at the shuttle. Shuttle Excalibur, come in. But what's going on up there? Either they're trapped up there in space, or they're already dead. Excalibur, can you please acknowledge? Excalibur, come in. Excalibur, do you copy? Excalibur, this is mission control to Excalibur. Mr. Chuku. Star Shield has been activated. The RX-44 satellite will not be deployed. Excellent. Without his geological survey to reveal Katuma's hidden mineral wealth, President Haikuda's fall is assured. Allowing you to take over. You'll get your money. In the meantime, you would do well to initiate the next stage of your little revolution. I know the plan. Still nothing. Keep trying. Why did we let him go? It was his decision. Beckett, medical telemetry is back online. Lose heartbeats? Yes. They're both alive. President Haikudu faces his greatest challenge yet. Here in Katuma, just three years after the first democratic elections, mounting pressure from the global bank, whose loans Haikudu has been using to rebuild the island's economy after years of abuse under previous undemocratic regimes, means of. Vice President Chuku, Amanda Courtney, GNC, could you spare us a few moments? No, I'm sorry. Can you comment on the rumours that the currency devaluation will be announced today? No, I'm sorry, no comment. Look, I must go. Excuse me. Mr. President. Yes, oh, I'm ready. Hold it. I need that fax from Joy Tanata. Could you get it for me, please? Sure. Thank you. 
if you see it, Mr. Brennan. Oh, thank you. Something's going on. Let's call a lift and get closer to the action. Susan? Susan, come on. Susan. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What about you? I'll live. to regain contact with Control first. Control, this is Excalibur. Do you copy? Control, this is Shuttle Excalibur. Do you copy? Yes, we copy Scalabon. What's your status? Oh, boy. Bad. You could say that. Ed, can you hear me? Rog, sure. Do you know what happened? Star Shield. A satellite-based laser weapons system. Fired from where? Well, we don't know yet. Its main control suite is here at STA, but somehow it's been accessed from outside. Uh, what's the extent of the damage, Ed? Damage. Well, the robot arm's been hit. Stuck halfway out the cargo bay. We can't move it. <clears throat> oh. The cargo bay door's open. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Listen, guys, I've got to go. Susan's really hurt. Colonel, we must remember the prime task of this mission. Kituma needs the RX-44 Geological Survey now. Whatever else they do, Ed and Vornholt must deploy Rex. Think it's broken? Well, it certainly hurts enough. Try not to run on it. Thanks, Doctor. I'll bear that in mind. Oh. Caliber, we're working on a way to get the cargo bay doors closed. But first, we need to get that RX-44 deployed. You've only got three more passes to launch it into the correct geostationary orbit. Well, how can we do that with no power to the robot arm? There's only one way. We'll have to replace the fuel cell and launch Rex manually. Do an EVA. Roz, what's an EVA? Extravehicular activity. A spacewalk. You better get studying. Even if Ed can get Rex launched, we have a bigger problem. We've got to get Ed and Vaughn at home. I mean, unless we can get those cargo bay doors closed, I mean, the shuttle can't survive re-entry, can it? Look, maybe there's a way to use Star Shield to cut the robot arm free. Is that possible? Theoretically, but not from here. Whoever fired Star Shield has locked us out. 
You can get around that, can't you? No. They've rewritten the access code to the Starshield transceiver. Look, Beckett, the best way is to find the equipment they used. Right. Well, by studying the data from the attack, you should be able to calculate the area the signal came from, Ross. Now, yeah, Ros, but... you can do it. Now, come on, please. Hey, guys, I've gone over the checklist. Now, apparently, you have to input some kind of activation code before the RX-44 can be launched. He's right. Well, do we have the code? Um... Not exactly. President Haikudu does. Haikudu? This satellite project is President Haikudu's last hope. He's gambled Katuma's future on its success. And he wanted some kind of security, so he retained the activation code until the satellite is ready to be deployed. Just in case something happened to me. Fantastic. Can't we contact Katuma and get them to give us the code? That's going to be a problem. There's been a series of terrorist attacks all over Katuma. All communications in the island are out. So how did you get the news? The cable news channel, GNC. They've got someone on the spot who can still broadcast. GNC, isn't that where your um, friend works, Beckett? Yeah, but... Well, this is important. Swallow your pride. Yeah, but, Ros, it's not quite as simple as that. Come on, Beckett. I'm sure she'd love to help you out. Oh, I'm not so sure about that, Ed. Excalibur, start the EVA and begin the process. We'll get you that code before your orbital decay makes it too late to deploy the RX-44. Copy control. Ed. For luck. It is a matter of urgency. You can't just barge in here and expect to use a global news network to make a personal call. Look, this is not for a chat. This is a matter of life and death. Now, you just tell Amanda that Nick Beckett needs to speak to her, OK? Look, pal, Manny's got enough on her plate today. Her crew were caught in a terrorist bombing this morning. Two men died. Mandy was lucky to escape with a few cuts. The last thing that she needs is some idiot fan hassling her. I'm not a fan! I'm a... Husband. At least I nearly was. Just tell her I need to speak to her, please. Hello, Nicky. What a surprise. You never used to ring me at work when we were together. You're looking well, Amanda. Well, <laughs> under the circumstances. Spare me the charm act, Nick. It's not exactly new to me. Sorry. Don't start that again, either. Look, I lost two friends this morning. And it seems I'm going to be stuck in the middle of a civil war any moment. Just tell me what you want, OK? Well, believe it or not, I might be able to prevent that civil war in Katuma. Really? I'm going to need your help to do it. You failed. The RX-44 satellite is still being deployed. Haikuda is about to send the activation code to get the satellite online. How? Via the Courtney woman from GNC, the news station. Leave it with me. I'll deal with it this end. Excalibur, you will go for EVA. Good luck. Pressurizing airlock. Opening airlock. Fix the tether to the catch on your right. Done that. Sighting, Ed. You've only got 20 minutes to get Rex launched into the right orbit. Any word on that code yet? We're on to that, Ed. You get the RX-44 working. OK, Ed. First job is to connect the spare shuttle fuel cell. No problem. That should do it. Yeah. 
Good work. Rex has power again. Well, what's the word on this activation code? Control. Mr. President, the RX-44 satellite is being deployed even as we speak. All we need now is the activation code. That's great news, Mr. Beckett. The best I've heard in a long time. Now we have a real chance of survival. We're lucky that not all Miss Courtney's equipment was destroyed by the rebels' cowardly bomb. Yes, sir. If I could just have that activation code... I can send it straight through to STA. Of course, Mr. Beckett. Would you please wait here, Miss Courtney? Perhaps I should assign a soldier to guard Miss Courtney and her equipment. No. I'll leave her my personal bodyguard. Release the four locking clamps, starting with the one nearest you. It happens to us all at first. Brace yourself. Remember, you've only got mass, not weight. Be grateful your tether's clipped on. Yeah, I'm very attached to it. Excuse me, Mr. President. But of course. Thank you for this. I'll never forget it. How's that? Fine, but you're running out of time. Nick? Nick? Okay, I've got it. It's um, some kind of complicated barcode. Right. I'm gonna need a close-up of it as tight as possible, okay? One more to go. We're running out of time, Ed. Hey, Roz. Any word on that activation code yet? Look, something's happened to Beckett. I'm trying to raise him now. Beckett, come in, please. Roz. He's been exploded. That transmission was interrupted there. 
Everything Amanda sent is on disk. Well, with no power here, I've got no way to get a video signal to you. Look, have you got your portable and modem in the Jeep? Yes, I have. Then power up the video player from the Jeep. Free frame the best image, then scan it into the computer and send it by modem. Well, you're going to have to enhance it. Look, just get a move on. Ed doesn't have much time. I can't shift it. It's stuck. It should only need 50 pounds torque. No. It's stuck solid. Colonel, isn't there some emergency procedure to release those clamps? Yes. By an explosive charge. But the electronic detonators were damaged in the Star Shield attack. Well, why not have Ed set them off manually? Ed? The clamps can be released by controlled explosions. But we can't trigger them, can we? We think you can set the charges off manually. Oh, hang on. You want me to just float here in space while a piece of the shuttle blows off in my face? Whose bright idea was that? Mine, actually, Ed. Cheers, Rod. What about this activation code? Don't I have to input that first? Yeah, but hang on, it's just coming in now. I'm just trying to interpret it. Ed, it's a binary sequence, so listen carefully. Zero, zero, one. Zero. One. One. Zero. One, zero, and finally zero. Hey guys, Rex just barked at me. We copy you, Ed. Time to let Rex off the leash. Okay, I'm ready when you are. All you need to do connect an electrical current to the detonator on the locking clamp. I've been running a program to calculate the location of the equipment used to activate Starshield. Have you got something? I think so. I'm going to check it out. Once Rex is deployed, the priority will be getting them home. If we can get control of Starshield and cut the robot arm free, they'll be safe to land. Why not? Okay, here he goes.
Beckett, I'm getting close to the source of the Star Shield signal. What do you know about the communications establishment at Blade Point? I shut down last year pending a refit. Mm. Looks fairly dead. We've restored power here at GNC, Ross. Hey, there's a feed from Mission Control. Ed's done it. I can see Rex in position over Katuma. Fantastic. So Joy's geological survey will be underway. Sorry, Beckett, Blade Point's not as dead as you thought. I'm gonna try and find a way in. Rod, be careful. These people are not gonna leave a weapon like that unguarded. Who do you think I am? Ed? Mandy, someone must have known you were sending that code. Someone out there in Katuma. How could they, Nick? I don't know. Just be careful. Beckett. Beckett, I found him. Just hold on a second. Roz, is it still working? Looks like it. And you can still use it? I think so. Can you hear me?
Ed, can you hear me? Roz, good to hear your voice. Any news? I'm going to use Starshield to cut the robot arm loose from the shuttle. Uh, are you sure? If you hit anything vital, we don't stand a chance. That's why I need your help. What do you want me to do? Okay. Send me a targeting signal from the new transceiver I gave you. I can use that to program the star shield. Okay. Just hang on a minute. Is uh, Commander Vaughnhole happy to try this? Do we have a choice? Susan thinks it's a terrific idea. Listen, we're going to have to commence to re-enter in the next orbit. Control, are you getting any of this? We heard it all. Can you ask Roz if she can release Star Shield so we can control it from here? It would make this next maneuver easier. Tell Mission Control, it'll take me too long to crack the code. Right, well, uh, we'll have to go with you then. Okay, I'm getting your signal. Now I'll fire Star Shield at the lowest setting as a rehearsal. You should see the Star Shield laser as a faint blue light, okay? Bay doors. Excalibur, I'm about to enter the final coordinates. This data from Rex is all we hope for. We have conclusive proof of large, platinum-bearing strata. Good. Then it looks like your country will have a future. I hope so. The Global Bank's deadline's nearly up. I've sent them the data electronically. The bank's board have summoned me over to hear their decision. Good luck. Thanks. Colonel Stone, we're ready. OK, Excalibur. Ross, you'll go for this maneuver. Let's get this right. We lose our re-entry window in 10 minutes. Roz. Roz, is there a problem? You're looking remarkably well for a dead man. This is really very impressive. Was this your idea? using the same weapon I used to disable the shuttle to release it. Neat. Thank you.
Rollis, what's happening? We're running out of time up here. We've got three minutes before we must start re-entry. Ed, hang on. Your position's changed since the delay. I'll have to reset the coordinates. What was the problem? <laughs> Zito just returned from the dead. Okay, that's it. I think. Oh, she did it. Go. You mean you had your doubts? Ha! Not for a second. The RMS is sheared off Star Shield work like a knife cutting through butter. Control! Do you copy? Do you copy, you scalloper? <laughs> Cargo bay doors are closing. Nice job, everyone. Right, let's make this re-entry textbook perfect. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. We've done it. We can land. Fantastic. Hello? Hello, Beckett. Roz, am I doing this right? Yes, Joy, I'm receiving you. I'm just going into my meeting with the bank. All the data confirms Katuma's riches. Well, that's, that's fantastic news, Joy. But it's not over yet. Listen, Zito, he's still active. Now, that data you're carrying is worth a fortune. If Zito can destroy it, the rebels can still win. Now, look, wait at the bank. We're on our way. Becky, it's still vulnerable. I'll carry on breaking the Starshield code, then I can transfer control back to Colonel Stone. I'll see you later. All right. Excalibur, this is Mission Control. You are go for re entry. Okay. I'm ready to bring Excalibur down. Local control on my mark. Three, two, one. Mark. OK, I have control. Copy. When you're entering the Earth's upper atmosphere, there's so much heat generated, we lose all contact with you. Copy that. Firing main engines in five, four, Three, two, one. Firing main engines. Burn is good, Excalibur. Okay. Cutting main engines. Radio blackout in five seconds, Excalibur. Good luck. Just the bit I hate the most. What's it feel like when you're up there during radio blackout? Like eternity. Beckett! Good news? Yes, they've accepted the findings. Our financial position is secure, but there's one condition. One condition? Political stability in Katuma. I must contact President Haikudu immediately so he can announce this platinum discovery to our people. Yeah, but all communications to Katuma are down. Uh... So I'm going to need one more favour from my friend at GNC. Control, this is Excalibur. Do you copy? We copy you, Excalibur. Welcome home, Excalibur. Well done. Susan, I know you're the pilot, but I think you better leave this landing to me. Just get us home safely, Ed. Try not to wreck my ship. 
Ed's out of radio blackout. He's into his final descent. Great. Yeah, I'm just taking Joy to GNC. We have to get in touch with President Haikudu. Haven't you rather overspent your credit with your ex? Well, I think I did that a long time ago, Ross. But this isn't for me. This is for the future of Katuma. Hey, Ross, just hold on a second. I think we've got a problem. <laughs> Zito's been listening into it. Look, can you get over to GNC? I need some reinforcements. We have to speak to President Hakudu. But he's about to go on local television live. We believe he's going to announce his resignation. No, he mustn't. He thinks he's failed. But he hasn't. Patch me through to him, please. Before he speaks. Hold on. Shuttle. Sure. Excalibur on energy of the ninth year. Correct course. Five degrees left for runway two six. Excalibur on glide slope on center line. Wind now at zero seven zero at four peak ten. Landing gear down and lock. Welcome home, Excalibur. So what do you think? Not bad. For a rookie. So, where's the duty free? Second, sir. Four. Three. People of Katuma, rejoice! Give it up! 
Zito! You won't get away. I'm afraid you're wrong, Mr. Beckett. You see, my associates will secure my escape. Zito! Security, Ed. Officially, you were never there. Never! What I, would like to say is that without the I nearly died in space! I, I launched Rex. I got Susan home. STA cannot have the world thinking that any Tom, Dick, or Ed can go into space. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Dick, or. The RX 44 was designed for subterrestrial geological surveying from space. And enabled us to locate you know the really weird thing is the way that Zito was killed by his own people. Whatever gave Zito his orders doesn't tolerate failure. You know, I can't help thinking that there was someone else behind all this. Someone we never even encountered. Yet.